you get up there to the top and you see what the holy people see and you have exerted yourself. And that's the way that life is. You, you must exert yourself throughout your life. We uh, are told that when we are very young that uh, there's always a possibility that uh, we might be a special type of medicine man. There are many different uh, ceremonies to be learned and you generally begin at the age of uh, four, I would say, because when I was growing up and I was very small, I went with my grandparents and all my different relatives to many, many different ceremonies. I was riding on a on the back of uh, my grandfather when he was riding a horse or we would ride in the wagon off to the ceremonies and we would remain there for during the whole duration of the ceremony. And the teaching was that uh, I was to learn the ways of my grandfather performing the various ceremonies and that. So the teachings and the training becomes uh, comes to you from an early age, but uh, when you reach the age of twelve, then the uh, you have the for the boy the sweat lodge ceremony where the male relatives and that line you up and they all take their uh, yucca bunch and lash you with it before you go into the sweat lodge. And the uh, idea of that particular ceremony is to prepare you that you have a responsibility as a male to learn some ceremonies. And it was traditionally that all of the boys and all of the men had to have some understanding of the ceremonies. And if you pursued it as you should, by the time you're 21 years old, you should at least know four ceremonies. Uh, four different ceremonies, or you may learn eight different ceremonies. And when you learn that, that's to, first of all, to help your family, uh, your own family, your children. The uh, other thing is when you assemble you, your medicine bundle, the first item to actually put into your medicine bundle was the uh, mountain soil, the sacred mountain soil. The lege is what they call it. And you don't get that from just anywhere. You have to go to the top of the mountain. And that journey to the top of the mountain is not easy. You start at the base of the mountain and you climb and you uh, get thirsty, you get hungry, you get tired and bugs are biting at you, brush and weeds are scratching you, there are trees in your ways, rocks, you stumble, scrape yourself up. You make the journey to the top of the mountain. It might take a whole day. You get up there to the top and you see what the holy people see and you have exerted yourself. And that's the way that life is. You, you must exert yourself throughout your life. And so when you pick up that mountain soil and you put it into a pouch, you bring that down. You might bring enough to share with others of your family. But you give that mountain soil gives you the, uh, the authority and the uh, responsibility of doing things in the name of the holy people. And you take and use that soil and you put it into your medicine bundle. And that's your symbol of authority to perform the ceremonies that you will be performing throughout your life. That's what we are told. Yeah,